Dearly beloved, pray the Lord and welcome again to this time when we interact with the Word of God. I'm glad that God is giving us another opportunity. And this time around, we continue with our series of finding God, interacting with Him, and keeping our relationship with Him. It is time for reflection. It's time for interaction. It's time to meditate and contemplate deeply into the Word of God. Now, on our church calendar, we have what we call the period called Lent, a season when we commemorate what our Lord Jesus Christ himself exemplified for us as Christian believers. Remember, our Lord Jesus Christ came at a time when people were expecting a savior, were expecting a Messiah, because of the circumstances they were going through. But our Lord Jesus Christ did what he could do to give us a way to follow. And so as church, we are following in his footsteps and the footsteps of our Lord Jesus Christ that lead us to holiness, that lead us to righteousness, the way he desires us to live. And so this period, that we are interacting with is a period called Lent. This is a 40-day journey of interaction with the Word of God. It is a 40-day journey of reflection on what our lives should be, the lives that please God. And as we shall be interacting with the Word of God, you will see that actually this is a very, very important season that we are in as Christians because it affects both our physical and even the spiritual uh, well-being, that we align ourselves with God's will. Now, our Lord Jesus Christ gave us what to do. Now, when we turn to scripture, this season that we are in of the 40 days, when he went into the wilderness, where he spent 40 days and 40 nights, a time of seclusion, a time of coming down, a time of prayer. Our Lord Jesus Christ left us an example. Now, when we turn to scripture here, in the book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 16, and I just want to read the first, those two verses, and I interact with you about them, and they will be a basis. We shall flow into chapter 4. They're going to, base, to form a basis of our interaction from this point of time that we're talking about. And the scripture, the word of God says that when he had been baptized and the Bible is referring to Jesus Christ, Jesus came up immediately from the water and behold, the heavens were opened to him and he saw, the Bible says, he saw the spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. Now verse 17, the word says, and suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Now friends, this scripture sets the basis, sets the ground for what we are entering into. And I'm welcoming you into this season of the 40 days of spiritual journey, 40 days of spiritual work. Our Lord Jesus Christ came and he was prepared. And here the Bible is telling us that he went through baptism. He went through the waters of baptism. And after the waters of baptism, the Bible says he was two supernatural things happened. One, the Bible says that heavens were opened above him. Heaven opened and two, he saw the Spirit of God descending upon him. I mentioned the two, but there are three. One, heaven opening. Two, the Spirit coming down in the form of a dove. And the number three, after he saw those two, he heard the voice. And the voice that came from heaven, the Bible says, it proclaimed Jesus Christ as the beloved Son, in whom God himself was well pleased. Now, after these spiritual happenings upon the Lord Jesus Christ, he moved on. And in chapter 4, the Bible says, Then Jesus was laid up 
by that same spirit that alighted on him and into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Now, the Bible says, verse 2, and it's our journey that I'm opening today, that, and when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward, he was hungry. And brethren, our concentration now is on the 40 days and the 40 nights that the Lord Jesus Christ took. And they exemplify something very significant for us who are believers in the same Lord Jesus Christ. And so, but before anything happened, Jesus had been empowered. Jesus had been proclaimed. Jesus was set to go and face the 40 days and 40 nights, the journey that you and I are actually facing in our lives. And I invite you still again to this scripture so that we move like the Lord Jesus Christ did move. And actually in his footsteps, we place our own. There's a song that says that in his footsteps, we place our own. And so he went into the wilderness for 40 days. Now, it, this 40 days was a reasonable amount of time that he took as the savior to plan to have time with God, his father, who had sent him to come and do the saving work, the liberation work, the redeeming work of his people. And so we remain who we are. We proclaim the Lord Jesus Christ because he did it and it took time to do that. And we as believers, we also are called upon to follow the footsteps of our Lord Jesus Christ. And this is the season why it is called Lent, because Jesus went into the wilderness, fasted, took off time, and prepared himself for the ministry that was. And therefore now, my brethren and my brothers and sisters, I invite you to this season of the 40 days and the 40 nights, when we also have to put off some things, we are invited to put off some time and concentrate. It's a moment of concentration because it is important that we do it. If the Lord Jesus Christ would have it, I mean, put off some time and be spirit filled. We're not saying that you give up your jobs. We're not saying you give up your family. We're not saying you give up your daily activities of survival, but we are saying in that time that God has given you, can you put off some time and reflect on who you are? What are you and who you are in the presence of God? Who you are and what you are among the people. You know, this is a moment of self-discovery. It is the point that I'm making here today. That is a point of, it's, it's our time of self-discovery. You find out who exactly you are. You go inward. Because the world is so busy. The world is so engaging. You can mean, you can, you know, there are people, there are some people who do not have time to think about themselves, their well-being, their time. And now this is the point that we're making here, that Jesus puts off some time and goes into the wilderness to make a reflection time for himself. Now, my brothers and sisters, this is the point that we are moving about to make a reflection. Now, first of all, you discover, you make a discover of who you are. What is, what is, what are you before God? And that one should be a self-search that you go in and make a self-discovery. And as you do that, you ask, who are you before God? Because you must amend or you must mend your relationship with the Father. And the Lord Jesus Christ did that, was driven into the wilderness, the 40 days of reflection, and he did that. Now, one other thing that you as a believer that you need to do is to discover who you are before the people that you are living with. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ, after he finished the 40 days and 40 nights, he came back and his coming back was actually to relate with the people. And you know, the categories of people that Jesus related with, one, the sick, the poor, you know, the, the fatherless, those people that needed to be helped by the Lord Jesus Christ. And so he went 
the time to gather strength, to gather the power, to gather the energy, to gather the divine power to come and be able to be helpful in his society. Now, I just want to engage you that during this 40-day journey, let us make some reflection on how we are going to relate one with ourselves. We take time, and sometimes we have no time to contemplate, to think about who we are. Now, this period is for reflection. Number two, how do you relate with your creator, the Father God who created you? And so it is a moment of reflection to do that. Number three is how do you relate with other people that are around you? And the Lord Jesus Christ did exactly that. You know, he had the time for himself in the wilderness. There, then coming, I mean, uh, before he could come back, actually his relationship with God, that vertical relationship, and that would affect his relationship with the people that he had come to save so that he can be remain relevant. And so I just want to urge you the 40 days and 40 nights that we are going to spend. May they be engaging for you. May they be engaging for me. And we shall be talking about this over and over again so that we get the meaning of what it is that actually we might have to be relevant to ourselves, we have to be relevant to God, and we have to be relevant to other people. Now, 40 as I wind up. 40 is a very significant figure. In it's a new it's a numeral that actually is, that is very very significant and the next point in time when we meet again when I get back here we are going to say what does 40 signify. It is a reasonable moment in time that actually you take time to think through and you shall I'm just preparing you. We're going to think about 40. What is 40 all about? And it is scriptural. But what I'm leaving with you, this beginning is Jesus had three supernatural things happening upon him before anything else. Now we are laying the ground for this one that Jesus saw heaven open. And it's my prayer that heaven opens for you. And so that this is the favor that we look for before God. And then when heaven is opened, Jesus saw the Spirit of God come down. Now I pray that actually the Spirit of God, remember Jesus, before he went, he said he sends a helper. The helper to stand with us, to plead with us, to encourage us, to energize us during these very tumultuous times that we face in our generations. And Jesus was on spot, was spot on when he said, I will send you a helper. A helper because on ourselves alone, by ourselves alone, there is nothing that we can manage, that we can handle. And so Jesus makes that promise and this spirit, this Holy Spirit that comes and alights on him is the same power that you and I, before we get engaged into any activity, Name it your work. Name it even family. You need to be ready, my brother. You need to be ready, my, my sister. You need to be ready, young man. You need to be ready, whoever you are. Anything that actually you need, you are going to engage in. You need it to be, you know, to be empowered. And so this season is for empowering us into the exploits of the Lord. And then number three, that after he saw the dove alighting, that the voice proclaimed. And now my desire is, may the voice of God proclaim me, proclaim you. And this proclamation makes sense when you have aligned yourself with the will of God. And so these 40 days, we need to align ourselves with the will of God. We need to align ourselves with the supernatural because on our, on our own there is nothing that we can do. Therefore, this period we are meant to recharge. Just like you have your phone and the battery is down, you need to pull it from wherever it is and put it, charge, charge, and so that actually the power is full 
100%. And as you go on, it goes reducing as it is working. Now, my brother, my sister, we need to be recharged. And this is the period that actually God recharges us. And the people in the Old Testament, in the New Testament, knew this secret. David knew it. And the other prophets, the prophets, Elisha, Elijah, knew it. And we are going to enter into that. And you'll discover that actually what they did, we needed to follow on. Sometimes power goes off. And when it goes off, when it goes off, you black out. We pray that you rejuvenate yourselves. We rejuvenate ourselves during this time that we are not black out. We need to recharge and this is the proper end of the period. And so I leave with you Matthew 3, 16, 17 and, and chapter 4, verses 1 and 2 that actually we set ourselves and this is the ground that we are setting and may God, who is our Father in heaven, who desires the best for us, we shall be able to, to do these things. Remember Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. The Bible says, I can do all things. Can I repeat chapter 4, verse 13? I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. And this is the point we are making. We have started our journey. May God give us the strength so that actually we maneuver through life, life whose challenges, life whose agonies, life whose nice things, life whose good things. And may God bless you for me and bless us during this time of the 40 days. We kick start now and I want to wish you a safe journey as you move into this season in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <music>